Welcome to another Raggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight, I'm going to review, hmm, let me see, what shall I go for? Hmm, you know sometimes you can have so many beers, but I haven't tasted it in a long time. Bacchus, and basically it's their cherry beer, they do a raspberry beer in Britain and a cherry beer. Usually around about the £2.60 mark, so not a cheap beer at all. 5.8% uh, volume, 37 CL bottles. So, you know, it's it's a small bottle. An uh, expensive brew. And, you know, 5.8% isn't that strong in this day and age. Always comes in this, this wrapper. You know, you'll not find anywhere than in that wrapper. And there you are. There's your bottle. <laughs> now... Let's have a look on the back of the I love cherry beers. Brewed them myself uh, from kits. In fact, I brewed one. And like most people who brew beer, you know, you get it overzealous with the sugar. So I banged a lot more sugar in, up in the alcohol content. And I upped it that much um, that on the secondary fermentation, so you do your original fermentation, and then you drain it, get rid of the sediment, put it in an, uh, either a barrel or a bottle. I put it into a barrel this time, and then I chucked a load of sugar in. I just poured the bloody bag of sugar in. And I was at work one day, got a phone call off the wife, says, your, one of your barrels in the kitchen is about 20% bigger than the other barrel, and is hissing. And I says, bloody hell. I says, get in the kitchen, undo the top, because what was happening was, it was getting to the stage where it was expanding the barrel that much that it was going to, you know, it could have blown. So, you know, it could have been a very, well, one, I'd have lost all that beer, which would have, you know, I'd have been in tears. And two, you know, they made a nasty mess of the kitchen. So, trust me to go and rip it right where I need to read it. So, quick look on the phone. Bacchus Creek Beer Reviews. Just out, just out of curiosity to see what other people think before I tell you what I think. Right. So, we'll go on ratebeer.com for this uh, look at Beer Advocate, I find Beer Advocate slightly better than Rate Beer, and there's n other than them two, there's no really, you know. The beer aggregates, I mean, personally, I think a lot of people who review beers are people who, who don't drink a lot, and they'll just quickly bang a review on and they'll say it's either, it's either the best beer they've ever tasted in the world, or it's a sh rubbish, you know, it's crap beer. So, here, 48 reviews, um, 3.20 out of 5. It says it's 5.8%. Yep, I've gone and chucked the bloody paper. Right. Oh, don't you hate it when you click on something and you can't get it. To... Bottle at Budapest, clear, deep red with pinkish red, very sweet aroma with lots of cherry, fruity. Another one, clear, dark, very dark, ruby red, brown lacing, foam red, great cherry aroma and taste, also barley notes. Uh... Another one says this cherry beer is darker than expected. Bottle, foggy, bordeaux, red colour, small white head, moderate lacing, nose, pleasant cherry, fruity. And obviously, cherry is going to be the uh, order of the day because, you know, it is a cherry beer. So, without further ado, let's crack this one open. I've got to get a different tin opener. Straight away, masses of cherry flavour. Oh, really strong. Pours darker than what you'd expect. You know, it's definitely is like a ruby, more like a uh, hobgoblin type uh, colour. There we go. Let me get a full pint out of this. Damn. So, nice head. Um, it's that dark, I can't see. 
the carbonation inside. Yeah, there is some. Not the greatest glass for that actually. I've got better glasses. I'll have to use the same glass every time. I've got the Stella Cedra glass. And obviously Stella being a lager, there's lots of the, like, the widget things on the bottom. And it really does. Oh, I can see it now. So yeah, there is moderate uh, carbonation or lacing as other people put it. Oh yes, cherry. A little bit of malt. I'm not waiting no longer. Oh. If anything, a little too sweet. Nice, very nice. You know, is it worth two pounds seventy-five a bottle? When you know, in your, in your supermarkets, you get them for one pound seventy-five, two quid. And uh, what's so special about this to you know get such a price? Um, for me, I don't think it's worth that price, which is why I only buy it now and again. I suppose the classic is like a premium beer. Absolute loads of cherry taste. You know, if you're not a cherry lover, you're not going to like this. Um, I mean, if you if you you love your fruit beers, and I, you know, I'm a sweet tooth person, so I love. Um, what well, it got what got me into beer drinking was sweet stuff like your Malibus, or the Malibu Black. You know, you can't get it in this country. And only people who go to Turkey and out of the EU can get it, which kills me because Malibu Black, to me, is the perfect fusion of a, a coconut rum and um, a proper rum mixed together. 35% uh, volume. But anyway, getting back to the sweeter. Yeah, what got me into beers and uh, spirits was sweet tasting stuff. I don't like taste. I did not at that time. I did not like uh, wines at all. And uh, so, you know, it introduced me. This, the likes of this, the likes of banana bread beer, uh, Golden Glory, um, uh, the Wells do a toffee pudding ale. I mean, that's another, whew, you know, really nice. Over the years, though, and then I also went on to gingers and ginger wines, ginger beers. And, but over the years, I find myself now being able to tolerate anything, you know. Obviously, the more you drink, the more you can tolerate it. But also, I find myself coming away from ginger wines, especially the Special Reserve, which is one of my all-time favourites. But I had it three bottles last the other Christmas. And by the end of it, I, I couldn't be done with it anymore because it was just too sweet. So anyway, this is sweet, which is ends that last bit of uh, talk. I've been to a Nottingham, yeah, I can see the carbonation there. I've been to a Nottingham pub on Mapley Top once with a friend. Um, and there were, I think it was four or five of us there, uh, couples and that. And uh, there was a cherry beer on tap then. I think this was 8%, so a bit, you know, a fair bit stronger than this. Uh, I had a pint, and it was expensive. And uh, going down the pint, I mean, I'd already had a drink before then. But as I'm going down the pint, I'm getting drunk and drunk and drunk. And you can tell you, I was feeling myself getting absolutely bladdered on this pint. This is nowhere near as strong. 5.8, you know. So it is a lovely beer. You know, other than the cherry taste, a bit of malt, you know, there's nothing other than that in it. Oh. For me... I'd like to see it a bit stronger. To justify the price, you know, at least 7%. I think if you're going to pay that £2.70 odd a bottle, I know I might be sounding tight, but it's a 375ml bottle as well, it's not a 500. So you really are paying uh, a fair bit for the, for the, you know, for the privilege. So, what am I going to give this out of five? Mm. Years ago, it would have been a, a five. You know, it would have been at the top. Now, as, you know, the years have gone by, and obviously I've drank a lot of uh, beers over the time and my palate's changed, I, I would say about a 4.3. It, you know, it's not at the top end of my uh, beers, but it's still a good beer, you know. 
without a shadow of a doubt. Are you going to drink more than one? No, no, one beer's enough. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a, a pub in Nottingham. Um, I think it's on Friar Lane. I go by it twice a week. Should know the name of it. And they do a strawberry beer in there, and uh, you know, one pint is 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 enough. You know, you don't want to be having more than one pint of the fruity beers. That being said, oh, goes down a tree, you know, very easy going. You wouldn't want another sweet beer after this, you'd want something more normal just to cleanse your palate because otherwise, and, and not rot your teeth as well. But uh, yeah, it's a nice beer. Right, neck this. And one of these days I'll try the raspberry beer as well. I mean, I've drank it all in the past. So, yeah, good beer. Not the top of my list, but uh, it's worth a try if you haven't tried it before. And thanks for watching. Cheers.